To write the name for BaCl2, we first need to recognize that we have an ionic compound here. That's because we have a metal bonded to nonmetals. So we have a metal, nonmetal, that's going to be ionic. Specifically, this is called a binary ionic compound. We have two different elements, the barium and the chlorine. So for binary ionic compounds, we use these rules to write the name. First, we write the name for the metal as it appears on the periodic table. So Ba, that's barium. So we write barium. Next, we write the name for the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table. So Cl, that's chlorine, lowercase c. And then we replace the ending with ide. So instead of ine, we have ide. So the name for BaCl2 is barium chloride. If you were given the name and asked to write the formula, you'd need to recognize that barium has a 2 plus ionic charge. When it forms bonds, it has an ion with 2 plus. Chlorine, that forms 1 minus. Each of these chlorines here is going to be 1 minus. So we need two chlorines, each 1 minus, to balance out the 2 plus, give us a net charge of 0. That makes the formula for barium chloride BaCl2. This is Dr. B with the name and formula for barium chloride, BaCl2. Thanks for watching.